We all know the famous idiom, what goes up, it must come down, which helps simplify the idea of gravity here on Earth. But what about the things not on the Earth? Hey, Schwartz Wielders, Trace and Amy here for DNews. You may have heard recent reports that three metal balls fell from the sky and crashed down into the Yen Bai province of Vietnam. The heaviest of these balls weighed 35 to 45 kilograms, but luckily they landed away from people and no one was hurt. But this brings up the question, is falling debris from outer space something we should be worried about? Well, first off, we should clear something up. These aren't exactly balls from space. Space balls, if you will. Although researchers did determine they were most likely compressed air tanks from a Russian rocket meant for space, they never actually made it there. In fact, a professor from Vietnam's State Space Science and Technology program commented that because the balls were intact, they probably fell from an altitude of less than 100 kilometers, which is the internationally recognized Kármán line, the border of space. If they had come from space, they would look very different. But that doesn't mean stuff doesn't fall from space and come crashing down to Earth, because it does all the time. Everything currently orbiting Earth will eventually make its way back down, and there is a lot of stuff orbiting the Earth. According to NASA, there are more than 22,000 pieces of space junk 10 centimeters or larger orbiting our planet, right alongside tens of millions of smaller pieces. We're talking non-functioning spacecraft, abandoned launch vehicles, broken satellites, human waste left by astronauts, flecks of paint, and other random pieces and fragments of man-made objects that broke off spacecraft at some point in the last half century. And again, it's all coming down. But don't worry, space junk doesn't pose a real threat to us on the surface because when it enters our atmosphere, it almost always burns up before impact. Okay, well, occasionally some large pieces do survive re-entry, but not enough where we should be worried. Nicholas Johnson, NASA's chief scientist for orbital debris, said they find a piece of spacecraft or a rocket body about once a year. That seems like a lot, Johnson. Other estimates say one large object survives re-entry and crashes into the Earth about once a week. But most of that stuff falls in our oceans or in large parts of uninhabited land because, well, that's most of the Earth. Remember, Earth is 71% water, and we only inhabit a small part of the remaining 29% of the land mass. According to another NASA orbital debris scientist, the chances of a satellite hitting you is like one in a trillion. No one has ever died from falling space debris, and only one person has been recorded as being struck. A woman from Oklahoma was hit in the shoulder with a small piece of a Delta II rocket in 1997. She wasn't injured and now has a really great story. She told FoxNews.com it felt like an empty soda can. Bottom line is, statistically, you aren't going to get hit with a piece of space junk. However, that doesn't mean space debris is not an actual threat. The real concern with orbiting space debris is the danger it poses to other stuff orbiting the planet, like the International Space Station. In October of 2015, the ISS had to maneuver out of the way of a piece of a Russian satellite that had broken off. Mm, in fact, according to NASA, the ISS has to maneuver out of the way of space debris about once a year. The space debris orbiting around the Earth has an average impact speed of around 10 kilometers per second. So the consequences of a rocket, satellite, or space station floating in the path of a fast-moving, large piece of space junk would be disastrous. NASA scientist Donald Kessler talked about this back in 1978 in what is now known as the Kessler Syndrome, which you might recognize from the movie Gravity. Something hits something, something hits something, it turns into a cascading event, it's bad. Essentially, the more times we go to space, the more space junk we leave behind. The more space junk we leave, the harder it will be to travel to space. So more space travel really kind of means less space travel. Which is why many countries have formed guidelines to ensure future space missions limit the amount of space debris they leave behind. And numerous groups are coming up with ideas on how to clean up space. Ideas like robotic space janitors and Earth-based lasers. Space is awesome. Even though you're probably never going to get hit with one, we keep crashing satellites and sometimes on purpose. Why? Trace snagged the answer to that one in this video. What else could we have done with this old equipment, I guess? It's not as if satellites are biodegradable in space. So the most common plan with orbiters is to decay their orbit until they burn up in the atmosphere or crash. Are you still worried about space junk or did this alleviate your fears once and for all? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more D News every day of the week.